Virginia's first task here in Charlotte is learning to play without the ACC Sixth Man of the Year, DeAndre Hunter. The 6'7 swing man out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, just a freshman ruled out of the NCAA tournament with a broken wrist. He told me he's having surgery on Monday, so it's important to understand he was the team's fourth leading scorer, and during ACC play, he was fifth in minutes. I was really discouraged for DeAndre and for us. He had a heck of a year, and I thought he really developed and, you know, helped us so much with his versatility offensively and defensively. We talked a lot about that. But that's, um, you can't control the timing. Those things happen, and I think there's enough in that room. And, of course, as the old saying goes, ever you know, next man up. I still have uh, much room to learn. Uh, hopefully we get far in the tournament. Hopefully I can experience a little bit of the, uh, March Madness. Despite the loss of Hunter, the consensus is this Cavs team is the deepest and most talented to take the floor in decades. I feel like we're actually a really deep team, um, especially with DeAndre, but now that he's not, I feel like we're still deep enough to make a run. I don't think there's any one person that fills that role. He's too talented for that. Um, it's just going to be all of us coming together, um, doing a little bit more, being extra, you know, extra prepared on the defensive end especially. UVA's first test without Hunter comes Friday night when they get the 16th seed in the South region, the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Should they survive in advance, they'll get the winner of K-State and Creighton on Sunday. At the South region in Charlotte, I'm John Apicello, 10 Sports.